let's continue with the lips rigger. So I'm just gonna close my eye rigger and I'm gonna come here and rig in lips rigger. So this tool it's uh, similar to the eye rigger. Uh, it's based on the same principles with the curves and the wrap uh, used by Mark on his tutorial, uh, but it's slightly different and it's an adaptation. So to rig the lips, and I make a distinction between the lips rig and the um, the mouth rig itself. So this is something that maybe you can use it as is, but um, yeah, in some situations uh, you can you you. It's not like good for um, rig the whole mouth. It's just a helper or a layer on a layer it rig. Okay, so first we need to select the um, the inner loop of the uh, lip. In this case, I'm gonna select this one. It's the loop that is going on the center of the lip. And then we need to select the upper vertex and lower vertex. So why we need to select this? Okay, um, here if I just isolate this part, you can see that my lower lip, it's crossing slightly the upper lip or the other way around. So sometimes uh, I cannot um, like rely on that the upper uh, lip center vertex is gonna be the upper one. So in some models it's gonna be the lower one, in in some models it's gonna be the the upper one. So it's it's a cross. So you just don't trust what you get on 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 here on the world space. So because I, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna select my lower one here and my upper one there. So that's it. That's all we need. And then um, the rest of the options are. Obviously, are optional. Uh, the computed topological auto skin. We need to set again the same uh, joint for upper and lower lip. And this is because uh, sometimes we have uh, two sections, especially if we use the component on, on shifter for the mouth. We have the upper lip joint and the lower lip joint. So we want to keep this this track here. And we have the uh, static parent rig. That it's something that we we're not gonna move with the rig. So in this case, it's gonna create it here in the root of the scene, but probably in the rig you want to to have a special place to to set this thing. Okay, so that's it, and I'm gonna take uh, like five rigid and eight. This is gonna be quite wide. This is the default one, and uh, I want to talk here about the algorithm that I'm using for uh, calculate the auto skinning. That is the same for the eyes and the mouth. I'm just gonna build. Gonna take a few seconds. It's a little longer than the eyes because I'm using longer ranges here on the follow-up, but that's it. So now the uh, the skinning is there. It's far from from be ready to use, but it's good enough to start. So why I want to talk about this now? Okay, so here in this in this geometry, uh, let's pull here my four and we can see that the geometry if uh, let's say here in the circle it goes concentric like that that is what we have on the eyes and this is the perfect situation for the algorithm because what it's doing is like calculating the, the the loops and the the edge like lines like this and then for each loop so for this is loop one this is loop three this is sorry two three four and so on so this is going concentric it's calculating okay this is one percent as i told you like this is uh, x percent less x percent less x percent less so it fall off so it's easier to follow these directions because it's, everything is concentric but what happened when we have this corner here so this is going to work on this it's gonna go perfect, but here, oh, where I go, this direction or this direction? So the the, the algorithm, it's it's honestly, it's not super nice. It's a huge loop testing stuff. It's a little slow or quite a lot slow, if you pardon me. And um, yeah, it's it's super stupid. So basically, don't know what the 
to do so you choose one and go in this direction or the other in this case if you check here you can see clearly what's happening here it stops because you don't know how to calculate this looping but if you check the lower lip you see it's the arc it's much better and here on the cross on the corner it's always this this little intersection that is uh, is how we get the, the auto scanning obviously it's not good to use so we're gonna need to to smooth it a little bit so to make the smoothing I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the uh, ng skin tools super nice tool that I always use and recommend uh, I don't do skinning with the Maya default ones uh, I, th I believe it's it's terrible the default man so don't use it get these ng skin tools much better it's not free but trust me it's, it's gonna pay by himself just using it one single rig in one single rig okay so i'm just gonna smooth super brute force or just bah, bah, bah. i mean it's not the ideal but just for the video it will make just a little more so now we can see we have this and uh for the moment the tool doesn't have any f any parameter or anything so i mean the the rig built by by the tool so you can uh, rotate translate and scale the uh the red red squares like in the uh in the uh in the eye there we go it's in symmetrical so if you work in local it's gonna work symmetrical for you doesn't have zipper or anything for the moment but uh, you can see like in a few seconds we have our character Ooh -hoo. there uh, let's just let me uh, just for the example I'm just gonna copy the skin there so oh yeah here we go. Ooh. That's a little mean. Ooh, that's scary. Oh my god. That's an evil man. But you can see here it's super easy to, to rig the, the eye eyelids and the and the lips. And you can get this expression just with a few clicks. And again, this is also like, it can be export uh, to JSON file and reveal later. So if you use like custom steps on Synoptic, uh, sorry, on, on Shifter, uh, yeah, it's gonna be quite easy to re restructure your uh, your rig. Normally what I, I do is um, I, I compute automatically with the first time I build and I do my skinning like this one, but now I have the two, two eyes and the mouth with the skin. So I don't want to recompute if I build again from from the custom steps, I just uncheck this and export with this uncheck. So, and then I save my skin in separated, so I don't recalculate this automatic thing, but I am gonna reuse the one that I did with the uh, smoothing and so on. Okay, so that's it for this tool. I think it's gonna make some people are less happy to have it, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.